the euphoria launched a year and a half ago but still it holds up today even yeah it's aged but perhaps the most development friendly phone that you can find in this five segment so today i'm going to show you how to install miui 8 on euphoria that is the miui 8 international edition that is 6.0 uh, not based on android marshmallow but it's based on android lollipop 5.1.1 but it's the version of 6.9.1 the latest that you will find in the developer builds but this is not a developer build it's a very stable build and you can definitely use it as a daily driver the things you need to keep in mind is that your phone is should be rooted and your phone should have a TWRP recovery installed or you can ha also have custom recovery like CWM recovery but I would not recommend that so first you got to do is turn off your phone and press the power button and the volume down button together and by doing this your phone will successfully boot into TWRP recovery just wait for a second and here you can get in TWRP recovery and so now from here you need to download the ROM package from the links that I will be giving in the description box below you do not I am mentioning it you do not need to download any kind of G apps because if you do so then you will not be able to install MIUI so after you have booted into TWRP recovery go to wipe advanced wipe select Dalvik system data and, uh, not micro SD okay cache and just swipe to wipe and after doing I'm not going to do that because I have already have me y8 installed so after doing that you just need to let me bring the focus okay yeah so after doing that go to install and select storage and wherever you have stored your uh, downloaded ROM package I would suggest uh, you to store it in micro SD card. It's not focusing. So hit OK and select storage micro SD internal storage and wherever you have stored the ROM package. For example, I should have it here. Okay, no, it's not here. Micro SD card and yeah, yeah, it should be here. No, not here as well. Okay. So it should be in the root folder. I would suggest you to download the root folder and here you can see me y8 version 6.9.1 international edition and you just need to go swipe to confirm flash. After you have done this, just go back, back, go and hit reboot and go and hit system. If you have a prepaid sim, I would definitely suggest to remove the prepaid sim before you set up MIUI 8 on Euphoria for the first time. This is because it will try to consume your data without you even knowing it. So there is a chance that your balance may tick to zero or, <laughs> or even less. Uh, is there anything less than zero? Um, yeah, leave that shit. But I'm going to meet you on the next side of the video giving a quick overview of this ROM. See you on the other side. Yeah, welcome back. And so I'm successfully booted into MIUI 8. I have set up my phone. So you should enter your Google account, your Mi account. Yeah, otherwise they would not let you to enter. And so after setting up, you will be greeted by a page like this. This is not really this. The wallpaper will be different. This is the wallpaper carousel. Just give in your 443. Okay, that's wrong. 4438. And so this will be your home page, you know, something like this, I've customized it. So yeah, this ROM is pretty decent, I would say, because considering the other MIUI ROMs which are available in the market, this one is perfectly suited for, so you can see the lag, it's, it's, it, it, it's been happening for some time. But um, this one is the best MIUI ROM that is available out there in the developer pages. So I've been using this ROM for the past few weeks. And I'm going to share my experience with you. So let's just see the Android version. Let's just go down about phone. So yeah, 5.1.1. It's running on Android Lollipop. And that's disappointing because Marshmallow update is rolling on to everywhere, and even Android Nougat is released. And I know there are some CM14 ROMs for Euphoria, but they are highly, highly unstable. I would definitely not recommend you to install that. Moreover, we can see that this is a pretty decent ROM. Everything works. I will start by getting the pros. The first thing is that the thing that you will need from a phone, the calling facility. So let me just show you that. 
that it works let me just call uh, some yeah, random number oh, oops okay let me just call and show you so as you can see the animations are pretty decent so so as you can see that calls are working pretty much working uh, I would say that this can definitely be used as a daily driver and the major thing about this ROM and other ROM is that this is the international edition so do not even expect anything Chinese from here everything is in English even the theme store let me show you the theme store yeah it's exactly in English the one that you will find on the Redmi Note 3 after the MIUI 8 update so okay it's taking a lot of time to load quit it even the music app even the music also works music playback works let me just show you okay local songs let me just show you as you can see as you can see music does work and one of the things that I have been worried about the most is the video playback and I'm quite happy to say that video playback also works and it works quite decently and so let's just see okay, just let me show you this because we are running out of time wow it's it's taking too much time to load what is this happening oh my god it's lagging it's lagging like hell okay guy I know now I get it now I get it why it's lagging okay Okay guys, I'm just want to I just want to say that video playback does work because it's my internet is running slow I guess. So it's just not just just not don't want to play. So I cannot I cannot get this device playing. But it, it does work. I have been using this and it does work. It does work. So now coming to the cons. This ROM does have a few cons and though they are negligible but they can hamper your usage. First of all, the hotspot is quite quirky and it happens especially when you are using uh, share it that is the app transferring or the music transferring app because it does not just want to connect and uh, whenever you switch on the device there is some kind of stutter some kind of lag you're going to notice a lag for in everyday use so it's snapdragon 14 guys so we cannot really expect something miracle from here and showing you the camera the camera the problem with the camera is that it sometimes tends to over it's something to overexpose the pictures and it happens frequently it has happened with me a lot of times and moreover the thing that I'm going to mention here the built-in music player does not want to work music player sorry music player does work but the equalizer does not work so this is the equalizer that you get hold up hold up hold up hold up where is the equalizer here sound sounds and vibration here the equalizer you can see the equalizer is there but the equalizer does not let you want to work and see it's now letting not me to enter into audio settings as well now now it's the this is what happens when you try to enter this it, it suddenly hangs and just doesn't want to let you enter into audio settings so better not try it I'm going to put some links in the description box below so that you can download this equalizer it's a pretty decent equalizer do not expect any kind of miracles headphone quality is not so good and this nav bar will lead it someone but not not, not me it's an opaque nav bar so yeah guys this is me UI 8 ROM for Euphoria so I believe that you enjoyed this video and I would appreciate if you can give it a like and if you can please subscribe to my channel I'm just starting to do some videos and this is a handheld video so please excuse the uh, shakes so I would definitely appreciate if you would like to install this me UI 8 update not update a ROM on your device so until next time this is Joel Tohia signing off thanks for watching Bye-bye now.